set the tone and light a candle. Anyway, hi guys, what's up? We are doing a little end of the summer outfit ideas. So it is only the beginning of August, yes, but um, in the mornings here, lately at least, it's been getting very cool, and so, um, and then like until maybe midday, then it starts to heat up a little bit more. So I'm just kind of struggling with like the end of summer kind of outfits that are like August and September for me, where I am at least. So I figured maybe we can just like put together some outfits to prep for me, but also hopefully maybe it can help you at some point. Um, and yeah, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe down below. I'm going to go change into the first outfit. Also, side note, how amazing is this robe? This is my first <laughs> thing because I've been wearing this to work because I work from home so I've been wearing it all day and I just love it so much um, it's this gorgeous pattern it's from Hill House I'll link it down below if you guys are interested and you can get it monogrammed where's mine I think I got it yeah anyway um so I'm gonna go change okay first off we have I did show you guys this little slip dress in my last video which made me think about it all week and I'm like hmm I want to wear this I think slip dresses are perfect for every season I don't know why I don't wear them more to be honest um, they're really comfortable and like flowy, but like maybe even on colder days like wearing them with like a fall boot Kind of what I'm wearing. But, yeah, anyway, they're originally from Torrid. I think they're so cute And I love the look of this together And I think my favorite way to wear slip dresses are with like a little t-shirt on under them I just feel like it kind of makes them feel a little bit more casual to me um, If it's like for the day to day, you know, and then I have my little necklace on this is look number one again Just like perfect for anything. I wear this to the farmer's market. I would wear this on a date I would wear this to a little party um, to go out to drinks, dinner, whatever. And again, it makes me want more slip dresses in different colors, even though this color is actually like pretty easy to style, but I am looking for a black one now. Well, although you can see through it, I'm pretty sure I need like a slip dress for my slip dress, but yeah. Okay, for this next one, I directly stole this from a TikToker, so I have to plug it here, at bailey.ariza or Ariza. I'm gonna link her down below, but I saw this on my feed this morning and I was like, wait, I have that shirt. Jared ordered me it when he ordered himself one. It's like a Yeezy Gap one. And I have not been able to figure out how to style it. And then I saw her video and I was like, oh, that looks so cute. She like spoke to me, so I had to recreate it. And so I just have um, this big shirt again from Yeezy Gap. And then I put like some denim shorts on under just some Levi 550s. I want to say 505s, 550s. Then my black Sambas with some white little frilly socks from Amazon. And then a little shoulder bag that I thrifted a while ago. I love this thing. It's knit and I don't wear it enough. But again, I just feel like a big oversized t-shirt is something that I strayed away from and I was kind of scared of for so long. And this summer especially, I've been getting into like shorts and dresses and stuff more. So I was like, why not try a little t-shirt dress moment or something like that? And I don't think it's meant to be a dress. If you also have not ever really gotten into like the oversized t-shirt as a dress, try it because it's like freeing, you know? I feel like chill. Now I feel like I need to go to like a summer barbecue or something or like a beach dinner. I don't know, that's kind of what I'm feeling. If you see this super fun blue and white pattern top, it is actually a collaboration between Aqua and Studio 189 that is being sold on Bloomingdale's, who's actually the sponsor of today's video. So thank you so much to Blooming Deals for sponsoring. I have a couple of pieces I want to show you from the Aqua and Studio 189 collection and this is the first one. So this is actually the waist tie leaf print crop top and as you can see it hits like perfectly. There's a little tie in the back if you can see that so you can like cinch it in if you wanted to. I just think it looks so cute with this white tiered skirt. Super long. It feels very summery to me and makes me so happy these like colors together for some reason. I love blue. You guys know that. Okay this dress might be like one of my new favorites because I think it's so first of all it's flattering but it's like such nice quality and so beautiful and fun again like if you can see the little frills and ruffles here i'm a ruffles girl i love it and the quality is so beautiful and actually each piece in this collection is made from fabric that is exclusively crafted and hand printed in ghana where traditional methods are used as part of studio 189 mission to support and celebrate local artisans and community and i think that's so special and amazing also um and like i said the fabric and everything feels so nice and is obviously so beautiful as you can see you can shop all the pieces that i'm showing to you today and more at bloomingdales.com i'll link everything down below that you need to, to check it out and yeah I have one more dress I want to show you though really quickly and then this is the last dress this is the tiered maxi dress if you can see the ruffles again I'm loving the ruffles and also the back let me get up closer and show you it grab my hair and show you I just think it's so beautiful with the open back and the tie. I love anything that ties in the front or back, actually anywhere. I love anything that ties in general. Um, but I love this shape of, of course, the colors. I love it because it matches my green flats also. So this is an outfit I would totally wear out to dinner. Oh my God, I feel like these all 
are really, really great for vacations. I think the beach, that kind of vibe, especially because of the material, it's kind of like a linen-y, thick, like, eerie. And yeah, this is the last dress that I wanted to show you. Anyway, thank you so much to Bloomingdale's for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Make sure you go check out the Aqua and Studio 189 collection and collaboration all down below. I'll link everything you need to down there, like I said before. And let's get on to the next outfit. I think I'm digging the hat. I think I am. I love the vest look with like a little skirt like this. Um, I just think it's so fun. This feels kind of preppy to me because of the loafers and the vest. Because it's like a plaid vest maybe. Um, but the vest is thrifted, the tank top under it is thrifted, and then the skirt also thrifted online on Mercari. It's Target X Stony Clover and I just think it's so cute and fun. And then my loafers are ASOS. I'll link them down below because I'm pretty sure they still sell them and I love these loafers. I actually just rediscovered them because they were in our spare room hidden under the couch and I was like oh my god I didn't even realize that and so I looked at them today and I was like I've been wearing those all summer long I was looking for them anyway so this is this outfit again perfect for every day for summertime especially at the end of summer I feel like you could definitely like transition these vests easily into fall with like long sleeves and then of course this Swifty hat if you guys can read it I think it's so freaking cute and fun um and I'll link it down below as well because I'm pretty sure they're gonna restock soon but um and I can't remember their at on Instagram but all right this one is a reminder solely to myself because I sometimes forget that a basic white t-shirt and jeans with like no accessorizing nothing major like going on can be an outfit and it can be a very good outfit at that like I feel like I see people wearing this and I'm like they look cute but then I never think to just wear it so, I don't know I like this outfit I like the basics um I just have my Birkenstock Boston's they're in like an olive green so again nothing like major I feel like Birkenstock Boston's especially with just like a simple look like this that's how to style them in my opinion or like the easiest way to style them. If you guys would like to see a video on how to style or how I style my Birkenstock Bostons, let me know because I feel like it was a struggle for me for a long time and I feel like I finally have figured out some outfits that I really like them on. And so anyway, yeah, super basic, casual. Also for the end of summer, I feel like this is a perfect like go-to look, easy. Okay, also same thing goes for a tank top and trousers. This is a thrifted tank top that I love so much and I don't know why I don't think of this kind of outfit. I mean, I feel like I've worn it in the summer, but I feel like this should be like an everyday outfit in the summertime. Um, so this is my vow to wear this. These trousers are from Donnie. They're their newest like silky trouser launch, I think. I have their brown ones. I love them so much. Pricey, but worth it as for all Donnie things, to be honest. Um, but especially their trousers, in my opinion. But yeah, this is just like a simple outfit. Again, just with my bourbon socks. If you can see, if you can see the sheen on these pants. It's dark in here, but can you see how shiny they are? and silky. Also a super easy transition outfit to throw on like a sweater over your shoulders or a cardigan or something and then if it's too warm take it off obviously, tie it around your shoulders, your waist, whatever, hold it and then as it gets colder you know. How many times can I say the word cardigan on this channel but I'm a cardigan girl, I'm a cardi girl. Some like sweat shorts from Old Navy, I love these ones. Uh, the vintage high rise sweat shorts I think. Uh, 10 inch same, 7 inch, 4 inch, 7. I want to think it's, I want to say it's, I want to say seven. I don't know. Super casual, any day, anytime. I okay, turned on my light because it's about to rain. But anyway, um, this is my little outfit I just put together that I really like as well. I like like a wicker bag like this with black and white. Um, and then like my little pop of red with my Mary Janes from eBay. Super, so inexpensive. Like I said last time, wouldn't recommend it. I'll still link them. I'm gonna buy at your own risk because of smell warning. Um, anyway, white tank tops and white shorts from Donnie. And this thrifted black and white striped top that I think is so cute that I never can really style. And I was like, where are some black? Black shorts. I don't know where I have, I don't think I have any black shorts. But anyway, so I paired it with all white and it kind of looks like a little romper underneath it and I kind of like that. Um, so hey you guys, these pants, these pants are literally my favorite ever. Who, what, where, Target, I found on Mercari. I think I showed you guys in a vlog, but I love them so much. They're like, you know, the best polka dot pants that I could have ever found. Wow, it's thundering. Sorry. Okay, the show must go on. And then I have my little black fisherman sandals, but I feel like with my red Mary Janes, it could be cute with this red tank top from Princess Polly. I like the look of just like a basic tank top with like a more fun statement pant or bottom. And I feel like that's why I like having different colors in tank tops too. I've noticed that I kind of want like a step up from just a white tank top or if it doesn't match, you know, because this is cream. And then Fisherman sandals are from ASOS, by the way. I'm pretty sure they still have them. I'll link them if they do, but, um, or something similar. I love them. I don't know, but super comfy, easy going too. Okay, honestly guys, I feel like this skirt has opened up so many different possibilities for outfits for me and it's changed my life basically. <laughs> um, I can never style or figure out how to style this like rugby style 
um, shirt that I found on eBay a long time ago and I just feel like this is it with a little bag this or something I feel so cute in this um, so again just like an oversized top long sleeve or not paired with a little mini skirt like this that has some flow to it and then some um, ballet flats I like this combination. So anyway, that's going to be the last because we are literally losing daylight and it's only like 4 p.m. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, subscribe down below. And thank you again to Blooming Nails for sponsoring. Make sure you check them out. I'll link everything you need to to check out the Aqua and Studio 189 collection. And I love you guys so much. I hope you have the best day. Bye.